your partners with me, I'll show you my breastbone. <laughs> Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Pinky Boo and I'm here with... Kiki Sparkles! <laughs> And we're going to play some finger licking good dating simulator. That sounds appropriate. <laughs> I love you, Colonel Sanders. Colonel I'm just Sanders reading the title. Hot. I mean, I he never in a million like, years thought they could make Colonel Sanders hot. He looks like he has Marie Antoinette syndrome. What's that mean? It means your hair turns white. Oh, okay. I didn't like, know this. Because I don't know exactly why, but I just know what makes your hair turn white. That's because Colonel Sanders is supposed to be an old guy, but they just made him hot. So he's like a, he's supposed to be like a hot older guy with no wrinkles. This it doesn't work that way. Anyway. Okay. You ready? You're, you're in charge. I'm just yeah. to ride. Yeah, let's, new game. Okay, so what should our name be? I don't know, pick one. Karen. Oh my god. Oh wait, should we name Susan or Karen? Uh, just do, I don't know, what do you pick one? Okay. I'm Why is Susan go. the new Karen now or something? Susan is the upgrade of Karen. Oh, I saw that on the, the like the Pokemon thing. But. Okay, Karenator 2000, all right. <laughs> I like biscuits. I'm a big fan of biscuits. Anime always has the best food. Come at me. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Wait, wait, so we're students dating Colonel Sanders. I think we're in college, though, so it's more acceptable. It's like Pierce from I like Community. The boy, I like the boy band thing in the corner. It's like... And the chicken with the explosion coming out of its back end. <laughs> yeah, it's BTS, but with one less member. Let's go. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this mo in the in the moment forever, <laughs> or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Shh. Which one should we do? Do the first one. I want to get going. Wait, not oh, the second sorry. one. <laughs> you can, there's, there's this thing called numbers. <laughs> one is first, two is second. You slept in the school year and gave up a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Way to go! Way to go there, Pinky Boo! <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're Mom gonna... went to be hot Colonel Sanders. Hold on. Let's try let's, that again. Let, yeah, let's try that again. I'm gonna skip. I still think biscuits are good. <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing. Is that bad that I'd rather have the biscuits? Anyways. No. Okay, I don't think just it skip is. past that. We know. We know. Okay, it's peaceful and serene. Yeah, we get it. Oh, ah, ah. Okay. Get, yes. Do you want to read it or am I reading it? You can read it. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling. Think about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Wattpad be hidden different. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. What do you do? You need to take this seriously or you allow yourself to daydream but thinking about the future? I think number one is the correct answer. I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. Now you can read next. You bust through your morning checklist teeth equals brushed, hair equals combed, pits equals deodorized. <laughs> Nothing can stop you now. Thank you, KFC, for making this. You confidently grab a biscuit. I would, I would, that would be true. You strut out the door and head off to class. You know, is it just me, but I don't really like just what you need to get your blood flowing. Look at that steam off that biscuit. I totally, I totally tap that biscuit. Mm. Is Not it just me way. who doesn't like uh, fried chicken that much? I don't know. I like fried chicken. It's okay. My turn to read? Yeah. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever. Miriam. Miriam, my friend. Hi, Miriam. <gasps> She's, She's the so most cute. adorably awkward person you ever met. Well, that'd be me. And you absolutely love her for it. <gasps> for kindred, Miriam. I like her hair because it's green. She's really cute. I love her. I'm trying to... She reminds me... Oh, she reminds me of the plushie from Lilo and Stitch I forgot the name of. Oh. But this thing's really loud. 
Good morning, Karenator2000. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? That's right, I am. Why are you in college forever? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. That sounds like me. What's the... You have to interrupt me. It's just this... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but when I ate it, it couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. And now she's crying. Ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued me from that quick sandbox. That sounds wrong. I've been, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great, you got this. But with the University of Cooking School, Aca Academy. Aca <laughs> Academy for Learning's famous three day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. But three day semesters, wow, that's something. But that means you only go to school for like 12 days and also they said for the rest of our lives. KFC, what you doing? But with, wait, I already, blah, blah, blah. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had the flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Okay then. <laughs> what? I want pictures, it didn't happen. Should you pep talk her or change the subject and give her some relief? I don't know, pick one. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? You read! That lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. Dang. I know, she looks spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower, and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? Oh no. I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I can call my own. Okay. <laughs> and I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. That's redundant. They haven't even gone to school for two weeks. You go ahead and read. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. Yet she's still she crying. She stop crying? Oh, there we go. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Truth. We relate. Wait, there. Oh, sorry. Can you believe I cut them myself? Yep. <laughs> Actually, yes, because we cut our own bangs. You, you can, can definitely, definitely believe, believe it. it. We read it at the same time. I, uh, I can't believe it. What? Her bangs aren't that bad. No. Ooh, I just dropped the mouse. Oof. Go ahead. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when somebody smacks your books and and custom engraved measuring spoons of your hand and onto the ground. Oh, you rich? Okay. Hey! It's Ashley, or is it Ashley? Yeah, your arch rival, she's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. I've never seen Ashley spelled like that. I think it's Ashley, isn't it? Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. I think it's Ashley. I don't know. It's a weird spelling of a weird name. Hello, Ashley, Ashley. Trisket. I'm just waiting for Debbie. Here, you can be the voice, you can be Ashley the villain. Oh, you want me to be Ashley the villain? You be Ashley the villain. Wow, Ashley with an A-E, she sure is special. I think that's Ashley, I think that is, but I don't know. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> Perfect. You leave Karenator's 2,000 shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Right, I had surgery. <laughs> oh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everybody else. Okay, we were right. If anyone here knows what a perfect shin, what perfect shins looks like, it's us. We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. That's his butt. Him. <laughs> Van Van. <laughs> and you can do this one too. You go ahead. You're right, man. 
<laughs> I think he's more um, higher pitched, wow, if you know what I mean. Wow, look. You've never been sure of what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, <laughs> Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. He hit right? different. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would even allow people like you to attend as students. Okay, Karen. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Well, maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs <laughs> could learn a lot from us. Go ahead. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. I wouldn't resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. What I really want is tell them off. Psh, see you later, losers. Get in, losers. We're going shopping. Oh no. Oh. oh, it looks like me. As you approach the door, you see a cathedral. Oh, that lady. Oh, kind of. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Uh. <laughs> um. Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach for it and easily pull the door open. <laughs> what is with this girl? Um, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. <laughs> Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. <laughs> Hi, Pop. I'm Karen Air 2000. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? It's just you. Th yeah, see, I called it. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Casual sex offender. I ship Miriam and Pop. <laughs> oh no, you ship me with myself? That's right. There's you stand at the edge. <laughs> you stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy by chit chatting. Mm. <laughs> <gasps> it looks like Charlie. But a scruffy-looking no. pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Oh no! Okay, who's gonna do sprinkles? You want to? Do I have to? No. Wait, Mom, you need to do another voice. I don't know how to do a Sprinkles dog's voice. What, what was that voice for Charlie? You do the voice. I don't remember. Now, don't... now, quiet down, everyone. Okay. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of USCS. Oh. That you're not me. She is I Miriam. am Miriam. Oh, you are Miriam. She is. I don't remember my voice. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. Oh, thank Chowie. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuisances. Nuances. Of fine dining. Yes, nuances. They don't care. Nuisances. As long as it's food, they want it. Good. Nuance. Nuance. Nuances. Okay, good. I, I can't nuances. speak words. <laughs> Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as, as a swirl of cherry blossoms petals fill the air inside the classroom. I can't speak English. And Jimmy, someone closed the window. And then, just go. He walks in. You're immediately swept up in the awe of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. Look, look at Miriam. It's him. It's. Is it, isn't it my favorite student, Harland? You want Colonel to Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Uh, Please call me Colonel. <laughs> Wait, is this introducing us to KFC lore? Is Colonel Sanders' full name Colonel Harland Sanders? Apparently. Whoa. 
Colonel Sanders. I don't do a sexy male voice. A hush murmured rolls around the room as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle sure. of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Is it hot in here? Is it just Colonel Sanders? Do you live in Florida? It could be Florida. I don't know. Oh, because the sound's going Your teacher again. is a dog. The chances of it being Florida are high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone's looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Or you just had too many bath salts this morning. You shouldn't be having bath salts in the morning. That's for night, and you know that. Have I taught you nothing? Bath salts are people, a nighttime drug. People, people bathe in the morning, too. Oh, here you go. I don't remember, I don't remember the voice that I did for And this over here must be Sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open the window back up before faucet pits <laughs> melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on, just a second. Nobody talks about my friend like that. I even have to do the post. Oh, now I know who she reminds me of. You, you. Midoriya. Oh, kind of. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is what is with all you really, your really weird insults? Stop calling me names. Besides, when Carinator 2000 sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. That's right, I shimmer. Okay, I did. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Mm. Like that chicken? Like the chicken. Or the biscuits. Like the chicken. I said biscuits. I say nothing. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rolls. I don't remember the voice though. Welcome to the universe. I can't, I don't remember the voice. That's it. Welcome to the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. I'm terrible at voices. The bird plays a culinary legend's past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There may even be really adorable tiny food. For me. And when it's all said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and complete the broom of cooking arena. Go ahead. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. How many of these voices are we going to have to do? I don't know. He looks like a me. I don't want to do this one. Uh, uh, I'll do it. Okay. okay. Uh, hi guys. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> I hope everybody had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Late to class is bad enough. Interrupting my monologue? You are the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? <laughs> don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. That's sad. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. We look mean. Let that be a lesson to a student that tardiness is unacceptable. Just scratch his butt. Even Clank made it here on time, really halfway across town in his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. These were. <laughs> the class burst into laughter. This is really weird. Oh, thank you, Rathko. Scratch my butt. Sprinkles walks into the classroom and everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Is he sniffing your butt? Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. White better, too. <laughs> You've never had a talking dog as your teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart is, but tough is well known. Tuffy pup. You decide to try to butter him up and give him a treat. What kind should we give him? Go ahead. You give him chicken, which is his favorite. You're not reading it. His favorite. Well, well, I think there might be some competition for new star student. Bribery is not allowed. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Ew, why are they doing math on the board for, for a chicken class? 
You need the perfect recipe. <laughs> you see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Always have bribery handy. They also should have applied to KFC. Go ahead and hit next. Okay. <laughs> Settle down, young chef. Take your seat and prepare to have your mind open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Carinator 2000, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed a seat next to me if you're interested. I should be a southern accent, but I'm not. <laughs> which do you choose? You sit by Colonel Sanders, duh, no. Pick which one you think. Finger looking good. Take your seat by Colonel Sanders. Now you've lost your best friend. It, it appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. She is a Karen. I've only had two rules. I can't do the voices. Do you... Wait, do all you can and do the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Take that, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me. <laughs> <laughs> This incredibly important and surprising <laughs> third quiz will tell me if you are ready for the life of culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely, yes. That's right. It wasn't him. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Uh... None of these above. Wow. Probably feather, I don't know. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A uh, spork? That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? No, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's right. Are we done now? It sprinkles a good boy. That's right. Woo. Only run on, not too tabby. You might just do alright, kid. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders have been watching you tally your score. He nods with approval. Look, I need his approval. May I have your attention, students? I have an appointment announcement important announcement to make. Why is How is he talking with a spatula in his mouth? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Why does the corgi have eyebrows? Time for lunch. <laughs> that, would, that, would be a, that would be Charlie's announcement. Wow. How long the, does this go on? I don't know. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense this, that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? It must... Ugh, that must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? What's up with his hands? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. My grandma died. <laughs> hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone Yay! cheers. We had to cremate her at home, but I... <laughs> Shh. I have depression. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. In honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That me that must be the smell I smelled. That me Indeed, that smell. <laughs> you hold your breath waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this 
Go ahead. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the, glimmer in the light. Wow. Or is it the maggots inside? Ew, pain. <laughs> Boo. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crisp golden finish. The aroma envelopes you and you begin to feel warm and safe. I think it's envelopes. <laughs> envelopes. And you feel warm and safe in your chicken. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Go ahead. Your stomach begins to grovel as grovel, grumble, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years I'm developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than eleven herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. Wow, this is this reminds me of community. You look around see Pierce! You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast well, as they can. They actually had an episode of Community where Subway comes and takes over the school. Oh really? I was like in the one where they had the, the, the KFC like spaceship. Yeah. But that's all I can say about that. Brother. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Push off! Hmm. Nah, dude. Nah, my dude. Nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is uh, poison. <laughs> Got him. Wow. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn. But her thighs are thick. You wait to see what singer Ashley has prepared to follow up, so she tendently takes a different approach. Hey, yeah, really, she does Ashley. Have yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I spoke something beautiful. I knew at that moment the only hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. <laughs> 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 oh look, now she's putting her, her chunky butt out. Huh, Ashley? You this see is her, a Lebanon that shirt? Spices, butter your biscuit. <laughs> right. you a biscuit. Her, you know, Grammy's gonna be giving me a phone call. You see her bio line, let's change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. Well, two things. I think she's missing some fabric in her shirt, and I think she needs a longer skirt. I agree. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Okay, nine foot long ponytail. Perny tail. Perny tail. Perny tail. Mm. Oh, please. Mm. Well, then, Van the Madman, if you don't want any. I'll take his. Yeah, I would. Well, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and, acts un and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. He got constipated from that finger looking good chicken. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. This is this one giant commercial for Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's amazing! Tasting <laughs> Colonel Sanders food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Okay. So what do we do? Focus on mind the mono moment? Savor the moment? And swim towards the light? That's probably it. I don't know. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. He's pure it's heavenly. chicken, people. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? Sometimes. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Kolo... Colonel Sanders. Uh, yeah. Colonial. Hey, I don't know. Sometimes dad's food, you know, is one on one time. No, I mean, because he cooks good. Anyway, <laughs> so the looks I'm getting. Okay. This whole game is an analogy for something, isn't it? <laughs> you approach Colonel Sanders. Wait, what's in the mac and cheese? I don't know. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allow you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Now I'm gonna talk to myself. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? 
Ha <laughs> 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 ha! How bold to come out and ask! It's an idea I've had. a cane? It's an idea with a chicken or something. It's a pimp staff. <laughs> <laughs> it's an idea I've had for a new combination of flavors that will make me a, my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Is it's, this based on a true story? It, no, I don't think so. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We still got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's <sighs> clearly not going to give it up easily, but doesn't hurt to be persistent. No, it does actually. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Oh, the fries are done. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Oh. You got Moxie, I'll give you that. The sound effects. Go ahead. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make you sure bleh, to make sure you're truly alone. Oh no! And then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. You like jazz? <laughs> hey girl, you looking like a six? Great. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use. It's something my great grandmother taught me. Wait, I thought it was eleven Where'd herbs the music and spices. Go? Music stopped again. Oh, whoops! Beep, beep! Wow, you've never have, you never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. Now I'm wondering. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared He's while everyone else is. Um, <laughs> In the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. The music just keeps going in and out. On this well, thing. you know, I know a guy. <laughs> yes. I'll get you some real good beep. <laughs> <laughs> While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation. You already read this. Oh wait. See you hey. beep. It keeps on going. Nice. Wait. You can get some real good beep behind the Denny's. <laughs> you find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Go for it. Oh, Quay. You, wait, what? He, I said quad. I know. Wait, wait, never mind. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Howdy. Howdy. What the? The music just keeps cutting it out. My crow. Sometimes okay? I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue after I've graduated. Two days. Sounds like you have big plans. <laughs> I dare say the biggest. Wow, it's a peeing contest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Colonel Sanders sounds like the guy who has an idea for a tech startup company that won't last three months. Yeah, I just don't, he annoys me. I don't like him. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea and additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest but thoughtful. I don't think this one's right. No. I think the last one. Even though he's kind of a... Yep. Well, I just wanted to tell you that... Wait. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now the suck up. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay <laughs> between salty, savory, and peppery was just perfect. <laughs> this is leading up to his uh, Burger King fantasy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's a Burger King fantasy? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Let's just tell you, Wendy's joined in. Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> Our microphone keeps breaking. I, I appreciate that compliment, Carinator2000. I'm sure you'll be a big success. Such a suck up. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you, because you kissed my ear. <laughs> we should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into a massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools, tools and ingredients they <laughs> need. Miriam, look at this place. Wait, why did I say your name? Look at this place, it's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second, oh no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? Shut up, Miriam. You're not going to blow anything except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans. You're going to earn your signature adorable tiny food creations. I can't remember his voice. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. 
For today's lesson, we will be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Are you gonna read it? You're a bad best friend. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on C Colonel Sanders. She is a bad best friend. What a jerk. Oh, oh Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is? Me and you, if that wasn't clear. Dr. Seuss? be my partner? Aww. Sure, Karen, here 2000, I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students to quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. <laughs> oh my, two potential partners? I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to take ask to be Miriam's partner? You pick one. I want to see what happens. Sorry, Clank, but Miriam will be partnering with Pop today. Oh no, the poor robot's all alone. <sighs> I'm gonna cry. Pop gives a big smile as he steps up to the same station as Miriam. I'm a chef. <laughs> He holds up a banana and without peeling it, probably eats the entire thing. You picked wrong here. It's disconcerting. It's disconcerting. But disconcerting, yeah. but Miriam is too kind to act Words grossed out. I love your enthusiasm, Pop. She You're looks at you bad friend. like, really? This kid? But it's too late to change your choice now. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking now classwork. You have no friends. Because you're a jerk. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Scratch, my, it don't. scratch my butt. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare, yeah. octopus. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Not octopus. Uh, yep. No, no, octopus. Why? I was about trying something exotic. Maybe a dish that I don't know. I'm more of a down-home type chef myself. I can't even read it! What is wrong with you? <laughs> Actually, there are certain species of octopus that do leave the water. For instance, have you heard of the Abdopus aculitas? It leaves the water to hunt for crab. That's weird. An octopus that walks upright and hunts crabs? No, I've heard everything. The world is truly a marvelous place, isn't it? Octopus? Crab? It sounds like you're describing one of my signature I'm dishes. I'm so sorry. Are you trying to steal my thunder? Uh, she has chickens on her, she has chicken, like, drumsticks on her leg. On her thigh highs. <laughs> She's got drumsticks on her thigh highs. Go ahead. Showing that extra crispy skin. Boys, 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 what with all the hostility has the competition been moved up to today? How dare you try and muscle it in on my culinary territory? Nobody better touch a cephalopod without going through me first. I think there's been a misunderstanding. Nobody muscling in any mollusks. We were simply discussing today's assignment. You could cut the tension in here with the chef's knife, which makes sense because chef's knives are usually pretty sharp. I feel so bad because I could do one thing. You were like reading and reading. Look, we're just talking. I'm happily, I'll happily step back from any and all seafood. You know what? I'm just gonna make mashed potatoes and gravy. I know my grandma's recipe by heart. Keep the tentacles. I was gonna suggest that. You begin to peel and boil potatoes and try to extricate yourself from this thorny situation, but your new rivals aren't having it. I doubt that you even had the capability capabilities to work with ingredients so delicate. You should probably stick to microwave. Is this kitchen nightmare? I forgot the S. I like my friend Fon Fon, but he may be the man man. I think it's the man man. Uh, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations with admiration. After all, your fried chicken is quite spectacular. Oh, the music just kicked back on for no reason. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It makes sense. Oh, it's like her heart and her boobs. 
If your partner's with me, I'll show you my breastbone. <laughs> Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. He's kind of weird, she can have him. And if Karen 3000 and Van Van are both so inclined to the sea, perhaps they should go there together. <laughs> so Ashley, are you suggesting I share the secrets of my special saltwater sauce with this novice? I'm disappointed in all of you. Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Well, now your friend's mad. See if Miriam has your back. What? See if Miriam has your back. Because now you, you ticked off Miriam and you're mean to her. You turn to Miriam as soon as you find her. She senses it and looks back. This girl's friend in need radar is second to none. She immediately comes running over. Miriam shouldn't have done that because, you know, we screwed you over. Is somebody threatening my friend? I will destroy them! I'm enthusiastic. If uh, I actually think that Ashley and Bon Bon were leaving. Leaving you in the dust vis-a-vis. -vis. My skills as a chef, perhaps, but stepping away, stepping, but stepping away from this competition, you are sorely mistaken. Miriam, you're a loyal friend, but Karen 2000 is my partner for today's activity. Oh, she got friend zoned. You look for Sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy state stature. Stature! You look down at your station, realize in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on aisle pilot. How does that happen? Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potato into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. You also finger off. <laughs> yeah. I know just what to do. <laughs> Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which pours a smooth brown gravy smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Oh my. Oh my! <laughs> his arm's just like too big for his body. The gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be so very proud. And it happens to be a KFC bowl. <laughs> Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure of this crazy world stops. How do you make gravy so fast? Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stand still. <laughs> if you love something, set it free. But then you eat it. <laughs> Together, you take the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. And when you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then, filled with rage, without thinking, you fling your sporkful of mashed potatoes <laughs> right at Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Van Van, do something! <laughs> do something! Skipping out a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious! Horrified by his revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? I can't remember his voice. Well, don't right there, Karen, do that then. We do not waste food in the boom cooking arena! Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have the potatoes, face? Dad rushes back over, a covered dish in his hand. Dad Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic! In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Plated on a battle axe ba blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. Well, he's just weird. <laughs> You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will all with, on with NT. I changed his voice, but I like his new voice better. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of a signature dish right off the plate. Oh no. Someone's dead. No, don't! Something about the fist doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rust. You have made it, it may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It's been eaten. I, uh, think I left something in the oven. I, I don't feel so good. It killed him? Oh my god! Oh, that got dark! 
Every one step back, don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it's gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up Pop's mouth. Oh no! Oh god, Pop! Pop went in pain just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his obvious, oblivious self. Oopsie! Tastes like poison! <laughs> What's wrong with this person? The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moment. Shock is frozen the whole crowd. The hair motion was the statue. It is all because I chose octopus instead of mashed potatoes! I would legit watch this as a show. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping around back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. I'm not sure the professors were here and... Wait, I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. <laughs> Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please let me walk you home. Get a room, you guys. I'm gonna go see my grandma. Pretty much. What? <laughs> like, for real? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. We're gonna have to wrap this up soon. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Well, I mean, you just watched a kid die, so that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I know. I mean, you know. <laughs> Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class Softly. today. Well, I can't talk like too soft. People can't hear me. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't realize. I didn't realize I was making them. They were amazing. <laughs> Tasting them, he reminded me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. <laughs> Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders. Yes, Carinator 2000? There's something he can tell you. Hold it right there. No smooching on the quad. Hmm? There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, <laughs> I have been working toward that dream day and night. Never stopping, never resting. Also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts and our souls we grant them. Like wishes, in a fl like wishes floating on a shooting star. Ha, no, uh, you, you, shut up! <laughs> I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? So I'm gonna distance you here a long sad sigh. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me! <laughs> I'm the hero. Oh, sweet. Spork <laughs> monster! The spork monster is here to fight a hero! Uh, uh, I think I left the freak door open. Later, nerds. Oh, you're undoing him now? Yeah. We will not let harm come to another student except for that ghost kid. I kind of dropped the ball on that one. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster, see? Oh, boy. Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a coincidence? Why is everyone Dr. Seuss in this? Before you can discuss syntax any further. It turn base fight sequence. What the hell? Or heck, <laughs> what do you do? Kick his butt! No, <laughs> oh, please. Clip of Love does one damage. It just got real. That really attack really upset Spork Monster. He goes on the attack. Do you have any sound effects? They yeah. You take one damage. Thank him. 
spank him. <laughs> Which defense do you use? Trepidation. They continue to stay back until whatever comes your way. It seems like a pretty weird strategy, but okay, you do you. Spork monster focuses her mass mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more frightening and timid. How do we respond? Attack it. What attack do you use? Cook with love. This is boring. One damage. Spork monster is no quitter. You've got to rain rumble. They go on the attack once again. Spork monster uses utensile. You take much damage. You're gonna You're not gonna survive the battle. We took two. Colonel damage. Sanders, where are you? Attack him more. You decide to go on the attack. Cook with love. It does one damage. How about you cook with hate? That's right. He's using cheese sauce and a lot of the quad. I wonder who's going to have to clean that up. Oh, my sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke monster appears. He's his ultimate attack. Rounded edge. Dang it. My bleep was going to be used to make the chicken. That's right. Curtis, oh, here he is. Vol villain, your reign of terror stops here. Who are you? Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. It's like what one slab? Pie, oh, pie, pie, power punch. <laughs> pinch. Pie, pie, power pinch. Does ten damage. Wow, well, he got half naked and pinched me. <laughs> I'm me. calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, need Florida. <laughs> Spork monster is defeated. You saved me. Where's the cheese sauce? I want some. I, I feel violated. Entrance book monsters do steam into the night. That's not intentional. Finish him! No soon ever walk the quad in fear again! The monster messed with the wrong chef! Holy crap, I, I literally just him. walked up to you. You ready for you ready your final attack, but cooked with love? You never survive my student loan debt destruction! Amen! Ten damage. <laughs> These fork monsters completely vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks on in awe. Ah, capitalism. <laughs> 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 my cheese sauce. <laughs> you mean my bleep? <laughs> <laughs> you continue to surprise me, Karen Air 2000. Yeah, I'll be able to talk tomorrow. Oh, you left behind a special item, defeated monster. That's my wallet. <laughs> It's the first new cookbook, but I'm closer inspection. It's much more. First you. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. I like my nanas. <laughs> <laughs> first you cook me with love, then your half-naked boyfriend gives me a purple nurple, <laughs> and now you're taking my nana's obituary. You sick, sick woman. <laughs> Find a library card tucked inside. I can't forget the last name is signed of it signed out is Borco. Hmm. Yeah, I'll say. Borco, the name sounds strangely familiar. That's me, dummy. <laughs> your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. Is it Sprinkles? Borco Sprinkles? I don't know. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize the final attack has left you completely depleted. Your world around you begins to fade away. Of course you're gonna faint, cause you're a puss. Without an energy to keep your eyes open, darkness ever takes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. Oh, please. He must have helped you get home, so now he knows where you live. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it there without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have enough strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled over you as you're tucked in tightly. Ooh, that's creepy. Good night, my colonel. <laughs> you know, it's like barfing your thing. <laughs> you, you can read though. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sandler's. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there instructing your love. Dreams are weird. Yeah, this whole thing is weird. Is it cooking or cooking, but different? What? I, think, I, think, I think it's time to wrap this one up. That's plenty. <laughs> Thank you. Always live on in your <laughs> nightmares. Thank you for watching episode one of Dating with Colonel Sanders. Oh, yes. there's more? This is a series. I, I don't know. We'll have to see how much of the game there is. Okay, we'll catch you later. Say bye, everybody. Have bye, a jazzy everybody. time. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And 
comment if you can. Maybe don't share it. Your family will never look at you the same way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you to you? Okay, go ahead. Goodbye.